the last thing that happened is that they ended up finding a note that said help me they also found like a pool of water that looked black and like mystical kind of like deal they also identified the statue that was down there as a nabatsu now technically you guys are actually down there but for some reason that part of the map would not load back up so mm. so you guys are technically down there now since no uh, noctua disappeared uh by that white shiny light blake uh the vulpus i mean uh and the alchemist uh, both see a bright light come back in and she appears right in front of us and then at the same time the druid that was the other druid that was with us light picks him uh makes him vanish pretty much are you casting a spell doing that who me yes what happens? where are we we were just uh, in the other room how did we, we get here you see after the light abducted you we ventured further and, and we met uh, another druid, so it's probably some. We were thinking it was some sort of druid thing. Oh lord! I can try to roll a spellcraft on it, and see if I can identify the spell. Okay. Ten. You do not know what this spell is. Interesting. Do you have any cursed items on you? Uh, <laughs> no, not that I know of. Well, what what should we do next? Well, did you guys find the murderer? Nope. Wow. We should probably go report back to that guy. Uh, Knight Richard. Sure, that dude. Uh, they're bro. probably gonna be interested to know that there was a uh, torture chamber down here. So yeah, I say we go back. Let me go ahead and implement your tokens. And they're gonna. So they're gonna come back uh, through the steps and the stairs and all that. And then they're back in Sir uh, Gregor's establishment. So that's where you guys will be on the map. Also, uh, Noctua, you see like a, a little like red fox protruding out of the the backpack of the uh, ranger. Oh my goodness, what happened? Who's that? Oh, um, so I, all of a sudden I can do this. Uh, I'm going to hold out a, a coin and attempt to cast light on it. You cast light on the coin? Oh, you don't want me to roll percentiles for it? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's shit. That's right. Yeah, roll percentiles. I mean, I can, but it's like I'm outside of combat, so if the spell I mean, fails, I can just keep doing it. Yeah, so I'm going to say you cast it. Okay. Yeah. I can cast spells now. How'd that happen? Um, it... This little fox came up to me, crawled into my backpack, and now all of a sudden I can cast spells. Oh, wow. Also, yeah. uh, Noctua, you receive 62 XP. <laughs> How I run my system is if you're not present for a section, you miss out on the XP gains. But that XP was uh, part of the XP of your last encounter. Roll uh, perceptions, guys. 21. 21. 21. 21. I almost had a freak out attack. I was like, where the fuck is my 20? That 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 moment when you uh, when you calculate your set of dice and only have 6 instead of 7. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got a 21. Nice. Was not plus 10. 21. <laughs> 21. So, uh, you notice that uh uh one, it's also the next day, so you guys are tired. Oh, and, it, and I'm pretty hungry too. Yep. Also, the the last time you guys were in this establishment before heading under was really busy. Now it's really empty. Is there anybody out here? You don't see anyone. Oh my god. Okay, before we head out, I'm really hungry. I'm going to eat a ration and I'm going to feed some of it to my fox. Okay. I will do the same, or at least the Dr. Zim will do the same. Alright, me too. A trail ration is what, a pound a piece? I think it is, or no, I think so. Yeah. It's too bad we didn't go shopping. We didn't get to go shopping before all of this. Technically, well, you guys did, but only for clothing. <laughs> <laughs> the alchemist, uh, Walks over to you. Oh, by the way, uh, I made it so you guys can drink some of my potions. Are they safe? 
<laughs> <laughs> no, I made them myself. <laughs> anyway, you guys will take negative twos on every roll. Okay. So, until you guys sleep. Negative two on all rolls until you guys sleep. Okay. So, where are you guys headed? Uh, we're at the mansion, so why Correct. don't we, like, knock on the door or something? You're There's inside the mansion. Here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Remember, okay, you got in. Weird. Yeah. That is weird. There's no one here because there should be servants bustling around, even if there isn't a party going on. And the blood yeah. of the dead body that got assassinated is all cleaned up. Okay, I'm going to yell out, hello, is anybody here? Uh, no response. Great. I am going to open our, are we near any doors I would go outside? Yeah. You guys are technically in the kitchen, if I remember correctly. So, okay. like, then you would go into the main hall, and then it would be the main entrance, and then there's the door. So, yeah, it's relatively close. Is right. there a window I can look out of? Yes. Just, okay. Um, I'll do that. I'll look out the window. Uh, you see a few commoners here and there. Interesting. So there's just no one in this house? All right, I'm gonna like peek my half. Well, my body I was a CN. I'm gonna peek half my body out the door and ask one of the commoners if they know where the uh, knight has gone. Okay. While she's doing that, I'm going to have my hand on my long sword at the ready. Okay. So you it, you you uh shout out to one of the uh, commoners walking by, and uh, he says that. Uh, most of the knights are, or most of the soldiers that he knows of are mostly in the market, but he doesn't know where Knight Richard is. Okay. Okay, I thank him. And, well, close the door and come back in. Okay. Does it seem fishy to anybody else that there's no servants around? Yes, I say we look around the house before we leave. Okay. So you look around the house. Is there anything specific you're looking for? Just like murdered? <laughs> notes, diaries, any hidden shit. Okay. So roll a perceptions check. Uh, you walk yeah. up the stairs and into one of the, what you would appear to be a master bedroom. I got five. Uh, you don't see anything. Okay, okay. well I'm following and I'm going to do the same. Okay. I got 20. Okay, so you, you find a uh, note uh, in, uh, inside an envelope that was kind of hidden in between, like a crack in between, like the door and the wall. Okay. And uh, the seal's broken on it. And uh, you read it, and it says, uh, "The town has mostly been evacuated. Uh, if you found this letter, that means the payment has been delivered to your account." What? <clears throat> I share this with the rest of the group, and I'm like, what? <laughs> what does this mean? Um, okay. It couldn't possibly mean us. How could they have known that it would be us coming in here to find this note? Can it, uh, when I'm looking at the handwriting, can I match it to anything? Wasn't there a note downstairs that we found? Yeah, it was a, uh, a note that said uh help me uh that it was a hidden message that said help me so i'm just gonna say straight up uh don't i'm not gonna trust anyone who's not us in this house right now i don't blame you it's weird because it mentions uh everyone's evacuated but those commoners were here that probably means just the important people then right we well, could. there's knights still in the square, apparently, according to the other person. I'm going to look around for a piece of paper and something to write with. Okay. So you you find that in his in this desk. Okay. Wasn't there a note on the body that was in the kitchen? No. Okay. I'm gonna tear the uh, paper into three pieces. I'm going to write a, uh, or not write, I'm going to uh, draw a little uh, star pattern 
It, it's going to be kind of like a pentagram looking thing. Okay. Uh -huh. And I'm going to do it on each of the pieces of paper. Okay. And then you're going to give each one of us. Not you, uh, yeah. I'm going to give each of you guys a piece of, pa piece of that paper. Okay. I will okay. write that in uh, pentagram paper. What's this for? So if we ever get split up, uh, this can be a way to identify each other. So basically, don't lose this piece of paper. Gotcha. And I side noted identification for party. <laughs> And of course, that doesn't I win. I don't know what's going on in this town, and I'd rather have us not get backstabbed. I agree. Okay, so you guys are gonna head to the market, or what? Uh, let's search the. I want to search the entire house to make sure we don't miss anything. Yeah, let's see if he has any magic items. <laughs> okay, roll perceptions check. As Jacob's cringing because he's like, no. <laughs> I got 19. You know what? Why don't we just sleep in this gigantic ass bed? Eventually someone will come back. <laughs> you know, you got a point. <laughs> I'd rather do that. Yeah. Uh, we should sleep in shifts, though. Sounds I agree. good. Uh, so you don't find anything valuable. So it feels like it, it's been like robbed. Like, because everything's oh, like clean. It's just but bare like, bones. Yeah, it's bare, and it, it it the the eeriness of it being so empty and like you guys can't find anything of value is kind of degrading. Are we gonna sleep enough to recharge our spells and shit? Yes, and hit points. Oh. Okay, uh, alchemist, do you want to look at my uh, spell book? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. We ate. Uh, when when you're asleep, it's uh, a a, a die six plus. Your constitution <laughs> mod for health regain. I'm still at full. Yeah, I'm at full. <laughs> oh, that's because we leveled up. I'm not sure about Noctua. But I didn't level up. I know. What what spells do you have prepared? Uh, never mind. So you can only do first levels, right? I can uh, I can technically steal any spell from your your spell book. What do you have okay, so, prepared? So for zero yeah. levels, I have disrupt undead, light, and mage hand. Okay, and then for your level ones, shield, mage armor, magic missile. What does mage armor do? Uh, it gives you plus forty or AC. I will have to look up the duration. And then shield gives you plus 40 or AC, but shield also blocks magic missile. So, like, shield will, like, just make magic missile do nothing to you. Okay. I guess I will prepare mage shield as my formulae. You mean mage armor? Yeah, mage, yeah. I say, because if we're switching up spells, I might switch out some spells. So how often are you guys trading shifts as you sleep? Every four hours, I guess. Every four hours. Because then that would just be two shifts each. So yeah, t so one person would get a full eight hours, where one person will get disturbed eight hours. Am I leveling up right now? What am I no, doing? No, you're not leveling We're up. We're sleeping. Yeah. So when you sleep and stuff, you get like all your spells back. Uh, you get to heal some health. You get to change or all you your can spells. Change spells. Yeah, yeah, you can do that too. That's what Blake's doing, is he's changing his spells. I don't have any spells to change because I didn't know that was so who's going first? I'll watch first. I already said that. Okay, who's going second? Good thing I'm a stomach sleeper, because that bed was not made for wings. Um, is it day or night? Because I'll take the night shift, because I can okay. see better. You hear a noise. Oh yeah. my god! Mm -hmm. Of it course sounded, I had to take the night shift! It sounded like a uh, windows breaking. Like, you know, I'll allow you to have a perception check to try to wake up and see what's the alchemist. Alright, just give me a minute. Oh my god. Does it sound close? Uh, it sounds like it's downstairs. I'm violently shaking up the ranger to wake him up, being like, I heard a noise. I heard a well, noise. So does that add anything because she's shaking? Yeah, I'll say plus four. I got six feet. Somebody in the house. You said you heard a noise? Yes, it sounded like glass breaking downstairs. I draw my long sword. Can I see, like, or is it, like, pitch black? It's dark in this room, so you can't see anything. And since you and I are both humans, we can't see where shit. Okay, I'll cast light on... Wait, 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 wait. Don't cast the okay. light. We gotta be, uh... We gotta be stealthy. Well, I can't see anything. 
Okay. <laughs> see anything. So, I got 25 for perception. There's nothing in the room, right? Uh, nothing in the room, no. But you hear the noise downstairs of glass breaking. Perhaps oh someone breaking a window. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, fine. Turn your on turn on your light. Okay. Uh I cast light on my weapon. Okay. So I you're, bet it's not even humans. I bet it's fucking probably a up. ghost you pissed off. We're in a huge mansion. It's probably the ghost you piss off. That's okay. I fight undead things, so I'll bust some ghost. Who are you gonna call? The ghost ranger. So now that I can see, and you can see. Uh, are you guys gonna leave the bedroom? I'm gonna, like, timidly stand behind. <laughs> Alright, yeah, sure. I'll take lead. Form up. Let's go. Okay. So you guys, uh... So it's ranger, alchemist, uh... And then, and then me with Noct or uh, with Athena. My... Okay. All right. If you guys head downstairs, uh, make a knowledge nobility if you guys can. Eight. You you see this uh this uh man kind of in more formal clothing, and he's like, "What are you guys doing here?" Identify yourself right now. I own this establishment. I am Sir Gregor. Aren't you guys? Aren't you the ones that went down into the the uh my my little kitchen thing. Yes, Sir yeah, Richard uh, hired us for that. For. Yeah, I remember you guys. Now, why are you here? You see, uh, we're here to after we found. Say yes, and after the long, weary battle, we had to take a uh, refuge inside the house. You know, can I we ask, were dead tired of exhaustion. Can I ask why? Hey, yeah, wait a second. Why, why did you? Why did you break a window to get in your own house? I forgot yeah. my keys. Uh, that's weird. Uh, I don't trust you. I'm gonna roll a sense motive. Okay. Is anybody else in here with him? You, uh, uh, you don't see anyone else. Uh, just him. Uh, you feel like he's telling the truth. Does anyone else want to try a sense motive on? So, five. <laughs> a five? Yeah, you, you both, everyone, like, wow, what a, a everyone human. believes that he's telling the truth about leaving his keys in here. And then you see him walk over to a table and grab some keys, and then he puts it in his pocket. See, I forgot my keys. Well, are you aware that your basement has a skeleton infestation? I am aware of the ruin behind it, but or underneath okay. of it, but I didn't know it was infested by undead. Noctua, show him the note. I hand him the note. Uh, so he reads it, and he says, Do you guys know that this has a message to it? What are you talking uh, about? What do you mean? It's a, uh, or what note are you handing him? It's yeah, the one that we found in, this, in, the door? in the bedroom. Okay, so we found this in your bedroom when we walked in. Oh, oh, what this is a mean? silly little note. I don't know what this is. I've never seen well, this before. Has, has the city been evacuated? Uh, now that this note mentions it, I would have, it has been kind of dead. In town, like it's not as busy. Sir Gregor, I think we should be expecting attack on the town. <clears throat> if people have been evacuated, there's something going on. Mm. I'm going it's to cast disrupt undead on him. It's okay. Interesting that you didn't. Know. Now if, what? If he's not, if he's not undead, it literally doesn't do anything to him. I know, but what does it doesn't do anything at all? It doesn't do anything at all if he's not undead. Basically, the spell fails. But if he's undead, I get a roll of d6 for damage. Okay, well, he is not undead. What are you doing to me, sir? Or, I was wait, just checking to see... What, what? Uh, what are, it's a touch spell, right? Let me look. Or is it an AoE? Because if, if, if it's a touch, then he, uh, then he would be touched by it. I have a question. It. If I have knowledge of geography... Could I try and see where uh, the handwriting came from? Like, where the person was... You can try. Okay. Okay, I got a 13. You believe that the writing might be of a it's a It's a range touch attack, so I shoot a beam at him, basically. Okay. So he'll... What are you doing to me? Stop! I was just checking to see if you were undead. Oh, well, I guess, given the current situation... 
I can't really despise that. Yeah, I wouldn't do anything to hurt you, I promise. Okay, well, it's nice to know that you guys won't hurt me. Again, why did you guys decide to sleep in my house? You see, we were super exhausted after that, and we figured that we can uh, take a short rest before we let Sir Richard know. Sir Richard? Well, we uh, he's waiting for somebody to come back in, so... Oh, uh, well, given this unfortunate event of me losing my keys, I'm back. <laughs> Um, if you're looking for Sir Richard, uh, I think I saw him up at the main gate to the castle. Or the first main okay. gate to the castle. Okay, great. Thank you. Oh, that's just nearby. And you guys can finish sleeping in here, by the way. Just, oh, uh, you. next time ask for permission. First. Okay, um, anyway, back to the undead qu- Do you mind if we ask you some more questions? Uh, Sure. So, back to the whole undead thing, you really didn't know you guys had undead in this basement? No. So, all that I know is that before uh, Cravenport was Cravenport, this used to be, this whole area, the land of Cravenport, used to be part of a guild. Uh, I think they were a guild of mercenaries called the Skirmishers. Uh, they were pretty violent, and they, uh, they had a really big uh, project that they had built, but uh, given earthquakes and uh, natural disasters, it crumbled most of the their uh, establishment. And yeah, I think we found one of their projects. And what was that? Do you want to tell them not, to, or do you want us to tell them? Uh, what we found down there? I don't even remember what we found. So she, yeah, so it was the the pool of water uh, that was only black. I would know. Uh, that and the alchemist and the other druid, and the other druid is gone. Okay, alchemist, do you want... Is it okay if we tell him? Uh, now nah, you go ahead. I only did that what because that I can't mean? role play. I don't want to role play two people at the same time. <laughs> well, I was asking the alchemist if he if it was okay for us. Like, oh. if I was... If I can tell this dude. Oh, yeah, sure, go ahead. So, we think they, uh found a portal to another dimension because we found a statue of a demon looking thing it was a uh, nabatsu sure nabatsu what, what does that mean so basically it's a big scary demon thing so uh <laughs> mind if i ask you uh foxkin uh, what is a nabatsu it's a basically it's a big scary demon thing <laughs> Is that it, right? It's a big, scary demon? It is a demon. You do remember that correctly. Um, yeah, but they're not fun to be around. My yeah. character, right now, as you guys are saying this. <laughs> it's a lanky, a, lank, a lanky fiend's mouth is filled with sharp fangs while great bat-like wings stretch from its scaly hide. Found a what? Yeah, a, a big, scary demon-looking thing. But it was a statue. Right, it was a statue, which I'm assuming is what they were trying to summon, and the I threw a rock into this little black portal thing, and okay. it slowly sinks through, so I think it might be an active portal. Well, shit, why didn't somebody stick their head in it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, this sounds pretty bad. I feel like you need to tell Sir Richard about this at your earliest convenience so that he can inform the king okay have you guys gone down there before uh yeah, i, I sent some kind of weird. i've sent some scouts down there before and all they were able to find was some some remains and some old books that i have no interest in other than that they you didn't need some new scouts yeah. <laughs> But that was years ago. That was back Same when I. That was back before I built my manor on top of their entrance. Oh my was, god! Yeah, you needed to hire better mean... people, homie. Okay, but there was a murder in your house. If they didn't find anything before, either you need better people, or this is a new thing. The people who murdered and then murdered somebody in your kitchen and then escaped to the underground. Possibly they did this just now. So the king and I think the assassination was a political attempt to provoke our 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 king here in Cravenport. Why's that? Well, for many years the king 
has uh, been very I'm neutral just... in political uh, agendas within the within the continent. So who has an agenda against the king because he's been neutral? Well, it's a resource thing. Gravenport owns a very good portion of trade between here and the other continents. So the problem is, is that the other kings want to establish trade and, you know, want to marry their children off and all that kind of, you know, nobility mumbo jumbo. And he doesn't want to do that. He wants to care about the people of Cravenport. He wants to only focus on himself. Or not himself, but the people of Cravenport. If you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. He's and honestly, like honestly, it yeah, it's not too bad. He can be stubborn at times. I mean... I, I know a few situations of him being very stubborn, but him getting in political matters with other pe people is just something I would never see him doing. So this sounds like other nations are sending in spies to try to convert your king? More or less. You sound so nonchalant about it. You don't seem worried. Well, the thing is, is we can't really confirm that. Everyone who is part of his advisory is a local. You can't confirm that? There was a murder in your house this morning. Yeah. Well, have or you I been able to identify the murderer? No. no. The then I say test, it's anyone's game at end. this point. This is why I'm saying I'm thinking that whatever... I don't think this is political. I think you have some kind of cult right now. You know, and this may sound conspiratorial, but it's because I'm thinking it's because if you didn't <laughs> if you didn't see that portal before and we followed the footsteps and they didn't lead to anything, they led to a dead end, they may have escaped through the portal. Then go down to the portal and find them. Uh no. <laughs> well then I can't really help you more at this point. And I'll hire some. I'll hire some guards and stuff, and I'll send them down there to protect the portal. I'll see what I can do with the king's guard as well. But first, you need to tell King Richard about what you've seen, or Knight <laughs> Richard, not King Richard. Stop trying to get me to do the plot, damn it! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stop it Although, with the plot. I don't think I have any more questions. It sounds good. I'm glad you're going to be putting a guard down there. That makes me comforted, I don't I guess. So, we're going to go tell him. Just FYI, use some bludgeoning weapons for those skelly bros. The skelly bros? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sounds good. All right, let's go talk to this Sir Richard. And he is he's next uh he has two guards uh next to him. Two guards next to him. I don't know why, but the whole time we were talking to him, I just had this, like, envisionment of him leaning against the table as he's eating, like, cashews or something. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, totally. See, the thing is, is that Sir Gregor is going to be one of my favorite uh, NPCs. Why? Because he's the big scary demon thing? Uh-huh. I can't confirm nor deny that. That means he is. I don't know. You'll just have to play the plot to find out. <laughs> Alright, you guys can move your characters up here now. I'm going to tell the king that Sir Gregor said he was stubborn. Okay. <laughs> uh, why? Sir Gregor seems kind of cool. Why did he choose an ancient burial ground to make his house on? That's my question. Yo, what's up, homie? Hey, you guys lived. Yes. You guys were gone for like a day. We were kind of scared that you guys died. Here's your uh, payment. Uh, also, did you go find any other information about that? Also, uh, yeah. I don't see the um, killer with you guys. What happened? Okay, I, I put my uh, arm over his shoulder, right? Like, okay. Like, just nonchalantly. And then I put my hand up, gesturing to something beyond. And I'm like, you'll never believe this. It sounds like a conspiracy, but... And then I go to explain everything I just said to Sir Greg. <laughs> well, this is interesting. You guys get ten gold each. Uh, do you mind if I uh, check to see if you are a uh, undead? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Will it hurt? No, not not unless you're undead. Okay. Well, <laughs> go ahead, cause I'm I feel pretty alive myself. 
All right, I cast Disrupt on Dead on him. Okay, uh, he's human. Okay. I just wanted to be safe, you know, with what we've dealt with. What do you guys uh, want to do next? I mean, there isn't really much going on in town. We are on high alert, though, because of the assassination, so no one's allowed into the castle. Uh, yeah, I have a question. Okay. Has, have the people here been evacuated, like most? Uh, evacuation is a very overdramatic term. We had quite a few uh, commoners leave. Why's that? They don't feel safe. Do you, you know if they have any them. ties to neighboring kingdoms? Say again? Do you know if the people who left have any ties to the neighboring kingdoms? Not that I know of. Cravenport may be a big thing. place, but we've, we're all family, technically, uh, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> Sir Gregor has a conspiracy that this assassination was a political move by a neighboring kingdom. I believe it. The king believes it. Everyone believes it. To be honest, to be honest, I kind of do. But then again, the whole demon stuff is very suspicious. I still think it's a cult of some kind. Why not both? Is uh, Why not Zoidberg? Does uh, is Sir Gregor setting up a sentry down there? Uh, that's what yeah. he told us. I can see if I can I spare a few minutes or two. That, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Nachua, do you want to show him the note we found in Sir Gregor's house? Um, hell yeah. Okay. What does this mean to you? Interesting. Do you recognize the handwriting at all? No, but it is pretty formal writing. I would say that someone is influencing our people to leave. Yeah, so would I. Have you noticed then... any gatherings? Any speeches? Any of the crackpots around town spouting different stuff more different stuff than usual? Not even that, but have you noticed anyone who got a suspicious amount of money? Because it says in the note they got paid. All the richest are people are pretty... Well, they're not asshole nobles. That's why thievery doesn't really happen here. Everyone's treated fairly equally. As far as someone rising up, not really. So no one makes big speeches in town? Only those priests uh, of Denza. What have their sermons been like as of late? So the Desnan priests... Priestesses are normally preaching about our dreams, the stars, and of course, travelers. I'm going to do a knowledge religion check to see if that's like accurate. Oh, I nat won that, so no. <laughs> you don't know how, how accurate he is about that. Mm, dreams, huh? Maybe the Denza priestess are trying to manipulate people through their dreams to make mm. them... Has anybody complained of any nightmares? Uh... No, and if they do, they complain. They go to the priest, the pre, the Desnian priest, priestesses. Maybe we could go to the tavern and ask to see what people have heard. Although, we can also probably sit in on a sermon sometime. Yeah, very, okay. very true. If we do have spare time, what else is job? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and relay this information to the king, and uh, Sir uh, Richard's gonna, or Knight Richard's gonna go ahead and go up to the castle. Oh, okay, bye. Um, I think we should uh, chill in the tavern and see what we can hear first. Okay, the tavern's gonna well, be... Well, the trail is still fresh. Down here. Right. Noctua is just obsessed with, like, uh, human stuff. Like, with oh, human stuff? Clothes. Like, pretty clothes and, uh, oh, gold is really shiny. Uh, I can make it shine brighter. What time is it? Is there a loot player here? Yes, the loot player is here, and he's playing. Must pay before receiving service. No fighting. Bartenders and servicers allowed to deny service to anyone for any reason. Okay. All right, well, let's ask the bartender if they have heard anything. Like, bartender. about dreams, or, or about people leaving. Okay, uh, if I remember correctly, she is a gnome. Really need it this time. Okay, yeah, so a little female gnome uh, walks up to you. How can I help you? Miss Fave at your service. <laughs> That's pretty male-ish for a female gnome. We were looking for some information. Okay, what kind of information? Um, what kind of information? Uh, apparently, we need to gather our things. Uh, I'll actually take some ale really quick. Okay, what kind of ale? Just a... Uh... I got wine, spirits, uh, I got a lager. Yeah. yeah. 
looking at the menu. Let's try hair and wine. Okay. So you guys said you were looking for some information? You wanted to go to the tavern for more information. What did you want to find out? Have you heard of anybody wanting to leave? Well, Cravenport is filled with travelers, but the locals, not so much. Have you heard anything about, uh, this will sound crazy, but have you heard anything about, like, cults? Cults? Every religion's a cult. Desna? Eh, she, she's a pretty good goddess. I mean, she hasn't she hasn't uh, done me anything. What do you think about the priests here, though? Mm, the priests seem fine to me. Have you heard anyone complaining about... Complain complaining about what? Nightmares. Nightmares? Uh, no. I'm going to ask her what the priestess usually preach about. Uh, I haven't gone to the church myself, but I know they talk about dreams, mostly. That and luck. I presume. Since that kind of relays back to what Richard told me, can I do another religious check? Yeah. Ten. Okay, you believe that it's accurate. So, I think what Sir Richard and... Uh, Miss Favy. What, what Miss Favy are saying is accurate. I think Denza is kind of like a dream goddess, Do as I'm starting to recall. Or interpreting dreams. Just like dreams in general, uh, she also protects like travelers, and she also so she is an ancient people. goddess of freedom and luck, and is crea credited with the creations of the heavens. So basically, yeah, Desna is an ancient goddess of freedom and luck, and is credited with the creation of the heavens. I'm gonna start joining this religion just so I can trip out on somewhat some wild ass dreams. She's also the goddess of travel and journeys. And then there's few who traverse the roads who wouldn't spare her a prayer or a simple worded plea for benediction. People who travel a lot tend to follow Desna. Makes sense. Like like I said, meta gaming, lore wise, it's like I already, I like I already knew that, but. <laughs> I had to find out for my character. No, and generally halflings follow uh, Desna, and they normally carry tokens of the goddess and frequent her shrines along their journey. How come Frodo didn't worship Denza? Because <laughs> he had the ring to r rule them all. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Temples like of Desna song. are a few, are few and far between. The most locations, no more than roadside shrines erected in her honor, which is you know, uh, it's like a very small monolith, like stomach high, and it has candles lit and it has like offerings on them. Aww. So do people like not follow her much anymore? Or? <laughs> It's you mostly it it's mostly travelers <laughs> that follow her, so you're not gonna see lots of sh her, her shrines unless you venture a lot. Interesting. All right, well, I'm out of leads. All right, drunkard, what do you think? I don't know, Sir. Ri Sir Richard didn't really give us that much information. I tried asking what else was there to do, and he like walked off. He's a busy man. Rude, but busy. I'll give you uh, one last chance to talk to Richard before we get this show on the road. You mean the show isn't on the road? Or no, not technically. No. We don't know what where to go next. Night, Richard comes back. I heard that you wanted to ask a question and I walked off. I'm sorry. What was it that you wanted? What else was there to do around town? Other than trying to find a, a cult that may or may not be even in this town, it should probably be your priority. Okay, do you have any leads? I do not, but I'll pay you for any leads that you find, slash any evidence you bring me. <laughs> Alright, uh, I don't have anything to ask you. I think you can ascend back into the heavens. <laughs> okay, so he goes back. <laughs> he goes back up to the main gate. Well, no leads. Unless you want to jump in that big scary portal. I wave the bartender back over, or the waitress, and okay. I ask her, So did you know that uh, Sir Gregor is infested with undead? Is what? Infested with undead. His manner? 
Yeah. Yeah, I did. That's new. I've never heard of that one before. But I mean, if you're the ones that helped Sir Gregor, Sir Richard came in here to talk to you. So I guess you're, whatever you say is truthful. Is Sir Gregor responsible for them? We don't know. But I think it should be common knowledge. Everyone should know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> has anyway has. Have you seen him act suspicious as of late? Mm, no. He he did come in here. I don't remember the specific time. He uh, did come in here looking for his keys. Have you seen anyone acting suspicious at all? No. Nope. I mean, I run this tavern. I mean, people come and go, but suspicious people are generally denied service, and I'd know about it, or at least hear about it. That's good to know. I don't have any more questions to ask her. Okay. I think everyone should know about the infestation. I'd want to know if I lived in this town. And besides, um, in my druid clan, we told each other everything. I'm going to give Miss Favor, uh, or Fayer. Favy. Favy. Yeah. Favy. Favy. Yep. You're my Favy. I'm going to basically give, uh, Miss Favy a coin. Or a gold coin. I'm going to be like, thank you for your time. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, so, as she turns away, uh, horns start to blow. And uh, you hear screaming and everything out coming from outside. Great. Showtime. Okay. Craven Port 2.0. More undead! Yes! I'm like... So you guys are now outside and you see a bunch of the town guard and uh, some of the commoners that are remaining left in the um, in the town all oh in the market. Oh my god. Oh my god. I fucking and... knew this would happen! I told you! And uh, go ahead and uh, roll some initiatives. I already pre-rolled the initiatives for this because I knew it was going to take forever. So there is a one information that was not given to you guys, and that is uh, that is uh, some of the guards left too. Like a lot of the army's gone. Oh my god! But they didn't tell you guys that because pe remember how Sir Gregor said people feel unsafe, so they left. Uh, yeah, I can't imagine why. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, Alchemist, what's your guys' initiative? I got 22. What's happening inside the tavern? Does everybody notice this? Yeah. Everybody inside the tavern knows? Is freaking out. Yeah, they see it. Everybody just stay inside, try and stay safe. Um, block the windows, block the door. So, honestly, I'm going to let you guys know this right now. I don't know how this is going to turn out. So, depending on what happens here, will determine your future. <laughs> what? You guys are locking yourselves in the tavern? No, no, no. I'm telling we're, everybody we're, else to lock themselves in. Yeah, we're telling the other people to hold the door. Um, hold the door. You guys yeah, need to hold the door. Everybody needs to start putting tables against the doors and okay. the uh, windows. If you can... Or, yeah, if you can, try and get to the upper level. Stay nice. safe up there. After you've blocked everything off. Remember, if they're, if they're skeletons, hit them with uh, blunt objects. They're weaker to it. Yes, hit them with blunt objects. Is anybody in here a fighter? No. Well. Okay. First up. Uh, shit, I'm not going to be able to convince any of them to come with us. First up and first to I'm go. I'm going to try and convince him. I'm trying to. So you guys are on the porch. They're not going to really focus you because you're you're kind of behind them. Bloop. So that creature thing will go first. So this different looking skeleton's going first. Okay. And then. Why is it bloody? Uh huh. Why is it a bloody skeleton? I have Meta... to identify yeah. it first. Meta <laughs> Meta gaming. Don't don't focus so much on the titles. It's just, it's just that it helps me uh, keep it organized in my on my computer. Oh okay. Yeah. 
So, yeah, you will be able to know the name of it, but you won't be able to identify it as a character unless you do so. He's attacking a guard. Okay, okay I'm gonna... Can I do a perception and try and see where everything's coming from? Uh, yes, but on your turn. Like, where where are they flooding in from? Uh, it's not your turn. Let me... Jacob has to move 500 things first. <laughs> No, I don't hear that dice rolling. Hurry up. Shut up. I gotta get my numbers. Uh, he missed. Next up is this bad boy down here to the south. He'll just move and he'll do that. Next up is Vulpes. Okay, so we're still inside the tavern. You're on the porch. You guys are outside. Oh. Yeah. By, I, by porch, is it like entrance like we're not like you're outside but you're like shaded <laughs> i guess what i'm asking is like i can move right and i'm not yes. gonna like fall yeah okay okay uh well first off i'm gonna identify that uh skeleton that's attacking the guard because i guess i don't see the other well i guess i do see the other there technically there's no vision blocking set up for this map but uh but uh, you guys can pretty see much. It, just tell me. Yeah, I'll let you know if you guys can't see it. Okay, well I I'll identify the one that's attacking at least. Okay, go ahead and roll a d20 plus knowledge religion. And then it's plus two because it's my favorite enemy type. Correct. I got eleven. Eleven. Okay, so this is a uh, a bloody skeleton is coated in a slick layer of blood and gore infused with negative energy. This gore allows the skeleton to reform and heal itself. Oh my god! What's it weak to? Is it bludgeoning still, or is it like I gotta light it on fire? It, you know, it's resistant to positive. It has a resistance to positive energy. Oh gross! Or, yeah, it's got a bloody skeleton gains channel resistance plus four. So my disrupt undead spell would do less damage. That's good to know. Because it's positive energy. But it has to be destroyed by positive energy. It's just resistant to it. And okay, then it, so and then essentially if we can get it down to zero. And then I can just be like, boom. Yeah, if it gets re reduced to zero hit points, it'll eventually reassemble itself. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just have to make sure to eventually disrupt it later. Uh, so I can hit it with like a long sword to reduce damage. A what? So do I still have to hit it with a club, or can I hit it with a long sword? It's up to you. Okay, you're not gonna tell me that. One. Are you okay. moving up to it? Uh. Here or here? I want to take out the first one. This one here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to smack it with my club. I got nine. Yeah, that doesn't hit. Noctua, your turn. Uh, I'm going to fly upwards and look at the battlefield to see where they're okay. coming in from. So you'll move out. You'll move off the porch. And you'll fly. Go ahead and make a fly check. 19. Okay, so you fly up. And uh, you you notice that pretty much everyone is in the tavern area, and everything else is just empty. So they appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, you assume that they probably snuck in because there's no guard at any of the entrances at all. What the fuck, Richard? What else can I do this turn? Anything? Uh, if you have a ranged weapon, you can shoot. Oh my god, why is this? And you're like 20 feet up in the air, so... Uh, I guess I don't, but I didn't choose my weapons, so... Okay. I'll I'll allow you to... to do it. To magically have a weapon up here? Or... oh, okay. I see what you mean. Okay, so <laughs> next turn would be the female commoners. They're gonna run away. <laughs> You're gonna run towards the castle. Zim's turn. How long does mage armor last? It's probably like one round per caster level, which would be one. I guess I'll just hit the ske the skeleton with the sickle if I can. That's all I oh. got. 
I missed. One hour, one hour per level. Well, wow. so it would be uh, it would be two hours. Or no, my bad. It'd still be one hour. Okay. But it's an hour. Damn. I missed anyway. What shield around? Okay, that's now the it's the so town guard's the turn. Spells. He's gonna return fire on that one. He missed. He's gonna hit the one, the same one that you're attacking. That misses. I ended up skipping one of the NPCs' turns. Okay, he's gonna. Go Just let me that. know when it's Athena's turn. I will let you know that he missed. Wow, these guards cannot fight at all. <laughs> <laughs> No wonder everybody feels unsafe. Attack. We be in demotion. Nat 20, hells yeah. And that'll confirm. Doing... Oh, he killed him. Oh, he's fighting something else entirely. Okay. Uh, he's probably gonna die. He's an idiot. He just took on way too many. Mm. But he hits. But he hits. I was like, unless he kills one. Uh... Like, these are skeletons. They're not super high level, it's just there's a... Okay, are the he... people gonna run away? They're trying to. The fe uh, It was the females' turns first. Um. I should just, like... Too bad I can yell. I need to yell. Everybody get into the church or something. Yes, yeah, just go to sleep. <laughs> Your dreams will make the skeletons go away. Well, you're either gonna go into the church or the tavern. And he missed. At least in the tavern, you can drink yourself okay. to sleep. That'll hit. So the health bars that you'll see on some of them, don't focus them too much. It's just something for me to remember. That missed. That missed. That missed. That'll hit. Sorry, it's taking so long. He missed. Miss. That'll hit. Oof. Are the skeletons aiming for the knights? First, yeah. The they're, they're basically rolling after whatever's in their way first. Yeah, okay. it seems like they're going after whatever's closer. It's mindless undead. They don't really have a tactic. They just attack. Well, if somebody's controlling them, it seems like they would have an agenda. I How did they get out first place? Skeletons are reanimated corpses by a, some crazy mage. That's exactly. generally how they came to be. Okay. Uh, okay, Athena, Athena. I'm going to have Athena grab like the nearest and biggest rock that she can pick up and just fly up and drop it on people on the skeleton's heads. Okay. She grabs a, a rock. <coughs> and which skeleton is she gonna drop it on this one mm, this one over the bloody skeleton no 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 no. hang on it's oh like she, she can, can move. not move her now you can uh... okay it's still not did it not save it said it saved there you oh go. there it is uh, that's too far. No? Yeah, that was 35. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, 35. She, since it's... She's not... She missed a little bit. Can she, like, try and catapult it? Should that throw much it? Farther? Like, yeah, like, try and catapult it toward him that much farther. Mm, I'm gonna have you roll. Go ahead and roll for it. <laughs> No. Yeah. Two. Yeah, no. I think that's all the zombies. Okay, now it's time for the male commoners. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're looking a little bit super crowded there up to the north. Alrighty, now it's time for Bloody Skeleton Boys. He's going to hit the one right in front of him, the one that's up top. Ah, uh, that misses. 
Okay, uh, next one is the this guy down here. Athena is up in the, s the air. Yeah, we both are. So he's like, what? Uh, Volpe's your turn. On the skeleton in front of me, I'm going to cast Disrupt on Dead. Three points of damage. Okay, it's and that's positive energy? Yes. So yeah. Good job. You killed it. <laughs> really? He killed the... <clears throat> Oh, I thought the blade skeleton. I was like, what? Okay. And then I'm gonna move. Okay. Now it's Knight Richard's turn. It's oh way... shit, he's on the battlefield. Yeah, he's way the fuck up there, though. I'm pretty he's sure he can wreck some game. shit, though. What level do I have him? Oh yeah, yeah. He'd be, he he's gonna wreck some shit. Okay. <laughs> if he fucking gets here. Noctua, your turn. <laughs> there's also two guards by him. Oh, there's more guards up here. Okay. Well. Yeah. By the way, the spell passed its percentage chance. Oh yeah, we. I gotta remember that. You're not divine. <laughs> it, uh, it's pretty low. It's like 15%. So as long as I roll 16 or higher, the spell succeeds. Uh, what's the biggest object around me? Like a rock? Or... Well, you're up in the air, so... Well, I know, but like that I can read. I'll say that there's a loose brick over on the chimney of the uh, tavern. Yeah, I'm going to grab it. Okay. And try and, like, chuck it at How somebody. far was that? Okay, you can move 15 more feet. I can move more than that. My flying is 60. Oh, that's right. I'm thinking probably this guy right here. Okay, so if you're meleeing him, you're going to be going down to his level. I'm not. I'm You're going to be above drop him. The brick on his head. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll to hit. 18. Go ahead and roll 1d4. Wow. Uh 1. Female's turn to run. This all has to be recent. I don't remember this town ever being like this when I did my fur trades here. This is obviously a political attack. The people that are left, they're trying to persuade. Because why would the zo zombies and skeletons I'm only th go throw a bomb at them? At the, the ones over here. Yeah. 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 That'll hit doing a total of five damage. So he is incapacitated at this time. I'll just put Ooh. him in disabled. The bloody skeleton. Yeah, he's oh, disabled. And then I don't know. I don't know what the timer is. And for, then uh, there's a reflex save for this one to receive. You should probably uh, tell ooh, the knight not. about your knowledge if you and haven't. He told. takes five. And he's going to come back. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cast that spell on Who? I'm going to, on my turn, I'm going to cast Disrupt Undead on the incapacitated bloody skeleton so it won't get back up. Okay. It's just I won't be able to attack because that'll be my standard action. Okay, that was Zim's well, turn. Well, that's a powerful attack, so. Town Guard's turn. Now it's the skeleton's turn to return fire. Uh, 
Uh, Athena, your turn. She's gonna take another rock and try and blast it on somebody's head. Uh, let's see. So she's gonna pick up the same rock she's again. Yeah, and try and do it on the guy closest to her. The this guy here. The champion, yeah. Okay. Even though you guys don't know what it is. But yeah, okay. No Go ahead. Well, roll, roll the hit. She really doesn't know what it is. She just like, ah, it's an enemy. I got a 14. No, you did not hit it. Oh, yeah. boy. I know. Again, I'm mad at gaming. I know what its AC is. What's its AC? I can't tell you. I'm out of the loop. Keep the meta gaming to a low. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, I'm not telling anybody. I'm not telling people what it is. I know it's the Zom Zom. Now it's the male's turn. So it would be the bloody skeleton's turn, but he's incapacitated now. We'll see what happens here. I need to... That crits. That confirms the crit. If you will uh, take a uh, n uh, notice at his bar. That hurt. Bulpis, your turn. Okay, I'm going to cast Disrupt Undead on the uh, bloody skeleton. And it's a ranged touch to attack? Yeah, it's a beam. Okay. That goes 25 feet, okay. and I succeed the uh, percentiles. Okay. And I deal... Wow, max damage. I deal 8 damage. To... 8? Just like explodes. I think after Suggest to the King to give out basic defense lessons. And then I'm going to move, so I still keep my flat foot. Where are you moving? Right, Richard's turn. Wait, you said that taking a five step is a free action, right? Uh, to avoid uh, attack of opportunity. Oh, okay, never mind. Noctua's turn. I'm gonna just start grabbing produce, whatever is in this stand right here. Okay, and then you're gonna traverse back. Yeah, I'm gonna start pelting everybody with it. <laughs> Okay. I have, I have as Rolled much as I'm carrying. I'm try and pelt them with it. Sixteen. Uh, that hits. Roll a d4. Two. So that watermelon really hurt. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> the female commoners. Zim. And then I'm going to throw a bomb at big looking mother trucker over there. That hits. Ooh, max damage. The zombie also has to make a reflex save. Damn, you did a lot of damage. And then he takes some damage. Nice, good job. Well, yeah, it's got splash. I'm going to shout congratulations to you. He's going to get a magic missile to the and face here in a the second. Guard, the guard is also part of that splash damage, so he has to roll a reflex, which he passed, so he only receives half. And half is still a lot for him. It's the guard's turn, so starting from left to right. The wounded one will attack the skeletal champion, misses After the town guard, it's the skeleton's turn. Athena! Uh, she can go 30. All right, she's going to come over here, grab something for me, because my arms are still full of produce. <laughs> He's going to die completely covered in, like, sticky... Uh, vegetable juice or something. <laughs> okay, roll the hit. 18. Wow. Okay, roll a d4. Two. Two? You just killed him with vegetables alone. <laughs> so... Beautiful. <laughs> Zom Zom's turn.
Now it's this guy's turn. He attacked, or is on his right hand side. Uh, that's a crit. Confirms the crit. He just one shot this guard. Cuts him in half. Just. Wow. Just like starts crackling like he's laughing. Gah, 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 gah. <laughs> oh my god. And in doing so, he was rolling an intimidate check. Uh, guys, make a will save. I'm intimidated. I got 13. Okay, you pass. Uh, 18. You pass. Wow. Normally my dice... Uh, <laughs> so the guard oh. there is good. The guard there is good. I am fli flipping out, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this thing. I am very... I am not going near that at all. I, yeah, I'm feared from that. Uh, mm -hmm. Volpis, your turn. I'll cast Disrupt Undead on the Skeletal Champion thing. What's the, what's the range? 25 feet. Okay. 20, yep, yep. you're good. Roll percentiles for a uh, yep. spell failure. I'm good. Okay. I did four damage. I'll also allow you to, to roll a knowledge religion to find out what this thing is. Twelve. Perfect. Uh, this is a skeletal champion. This armored skeleton stands in a battle-ready pose. Its weapons held high as cold blue lights shine from its eye sockets. Some skeletons retain their intelligence and cunning, making them formidable, formidable warriors. These undead are far more powerful than their mindless kin, and many gain class levels. Interesting. Uh, is it just like a regular skeleton, like weakness-wise? Yeah, but it's immune to cold, and it also carries undead traits. Well, I was about to say, that's pretty much all undead. Yeah. But uh, its sword is not... I Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> it's pretty hardcore. Well, I did do a decent amount of damage. Now it's the knight's turn. Yeah. Oh, you're moving. Now that he knows what's going on, he's going to go ahead and sprint an extra 30. Noctua, your turn. Go ahead and drop some vegetables on him. Uh -huh. Maybe. I got a 12. Yeah, you uh, roll a d4 for damage. Dropping That's some three. bundles of asparagus on him. I got a 3. No, it's the female commoners. Now it's my turn. Uh, I don't like the big meanie over there, so I'm going to take a five-step foot away from him so I can attack this zombie that's next to me with my shickle. That'll hit, and it's going to take that much damage. Ooh, if that actually killed it, I think, because it's already at half health. It's dead. Town guard's turn. Skelebro's turn. Athena, your turn. I'm oh. gonna give her some more a produce thing and have her drop it. Okay, in. roll a d20. <laughs> Killing some zombies and some skeletons with produce. Yeah, it's not happening. I got a seven. Yeah, that'll miss. A zombie's turn. And now it's time for the males to run. Skeletal champion's turn. He's going to walk up on his dead guy buddy pal. Try to attack the one to his left. That hits. And then he's dead. And he'll intimidate one more time. Right, guys make some will saves. <laughs> Ooh, I got even higher. Oh, I got a seven. I got eighteen. Uh, every yeah, we don't want to go near that thing. No one does. I got eighteen. Yeah, well, he rolled higher than an eighteen for an int intimidate. So yeah, he's intimidating you, and you're we don't want to fight him. 
Okay, well, I don't have to get near him. I'm just going to blast magic in his fucking face. Yeah. Volpus. Same thing. Okay. Oops, How many times did you prepare it? Yeah, it's a zero a... level spell. Oh, yeah. So I can do it as many times as I want. Nice. I succeed. I deal seven points of damage. And plop. You killed it. Yay! Good. It's fucking dead. Knight, this is turn. Noctua's turn. Wait for a produce. Okay. You're going to be out of produce after this drop. Yeah, I know. I was counting. <laughs> Which one are you going to... Uh, where are you going to go? I got a great roll. Um, let's oh, see. the one that's... The wall is left. It's that zombie right below you. Uh, okay. Drop it, and I got a 19 to roll. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure roll I a d4. It. Two. Still alive, but it's... Getting weakened from all the cantaloupes and strawberries. <laughs> Female. My turn. I'm going to walk up to it with it. Use my sickle. Uh, plus how much? Uh. Yeah, I hit. Ooh, max damage. It's dead. Guard turn. Now it's the skeleton's turn. Athena. Well, there's no more produce, so I'm going to try and grab a rock. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I should just do nothing, because there's no way I'm going to make it. I think the guards can handle them, right? It'll be fine. Right? Okay. Since I can communicate with my bird, I'm going to have my bird, uh, like, fly up some more, inspect the area, and tell me if there's any more waves coming on. Or okay. If... It does not see uh, much of anything else. It tells you in its owl tongue that, uh, that, uh, most of the enemy is, or all the walking bones are almost taken care of. Okay, so they're not, there's no more. All right. That's basically it. There's no more zombies around us. Or I don't see any. Like, immediately. In our there's community. a zombie to the north. And then there's a zombie to the Richard's to the west. Richard's going to take care of the one at the north. There's two guards over at the west. So yeah, that's basically it. We're gonna go back to the ground now. Well, maybe. I don't know. We're gonna stay here. Okay, yes. you're gonna stay. Yeah, we're just floating over. Okay, zombies turn. And then all the male people. Vulpus, your turn. I'm going to identify the zombie. Ooh, nat 20. <laughs> it's a zombie. It's an reanimated corpse, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, what's it What's it weak to? I nat 20'd on it. It doesn't like holy... It doesn't like anything that heals it, like heal spells. So It's also uh, really weak against slashing. Okay. But it's also immune to other undead traits. Right. Interesting, yeah. Okay. There's Just... that skeleton to the south. I know. That's too far. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to switch to my longbow. 
Okay. And... Fuck it. Is the skeleton trying to run away? Yeah. Yeah, I'll shoot at it. Okay. So, 23. That'll hit. Wow, max damage, 10. It's dead. And that'll be my turn, because I used my move action to switch weapons. And then it's Knight Richard's turn. I think that's all of them, guys. I think you killed them all. Yes! Okay. See, we weren't going to die. And, but the commoners are going to go ahead and get a... Die. They're all going to be lining up here. Hey, we weren't going to die. We won. Yay. Yeah. You want me to calculate XP? Yes. Yeah. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, everyone's getting 2,335 XP. So that's a level up for Noctua.